So I decided to order a new firearm and since I've been so excited or so happy with my Set Me L, I decided I wanted to try to get a Set Me C uh, to just kind of have some Set Me's. Uh, uh, so I found this surplus kit build from Southern Tactical on uh, Atlantic Firearms. Couldn't really find any reviews. There's almost no YouTube videos, uh, at least on the Set Me. There's uh, maybe three or four on some of the other builds that they've done, but nothing on the Set Me C. So uh, I decided I'd go ahead and take a chance because Atlantic Firearms has always treated me fairly. So I figured if I got this gun and it was junk, I could probably work something out with uh, Atlantic Tactical. So, or I'm sorry, Atlantic Firearms. Um, but so anyway, so this is how it comes. Um, I, there is a magazine in here, a set me mag, comes with one mag. Um, and I'm gonna take this off camera and pull the gun out. This is the Battlefield Pickup, set me see. Um, this one was on sale for $1,100. Um, it was supposed to be distressed to match the original kit. Um, I'm not very happy with the way it looks, but, um, so anyways, so I went back and forth between this or PTR and I decided to go with this because it's built off of a surplus kit plus I wanted something to go with the Set Me L. So, and the uh, PTRs are more of a G3 clone than a Set Me clone. Um, so, anyway, so try and get you a decent look here at the rifle. Um, I did lube the bolt up. I actually took this out and shot this. So you can pay special note to right here. You see that? Um, so I lubed the, the rifle up myself. It came bone dry. It does say on their website that um, they do test fire these things 20 rounds before they ship them out. Um, that Southern Tactical does that, not Atlantic Firearms. And uh, also, I thought that was cool. Was some original markings there from Set Me. It even says SB Santa, Bar Santa Barbara. Um, and again, note the finish there. You can see that. Um, so, that's my first gripe with this. Uh, and again, remember, this is my uh, initial impressions of this firearm. So, uh, my first gripe is this absolutely god awful finish this is not battlefield pickup this is not you know took a little bit of a barilla pad and or a barilla but a little bit of scotch bright and um you know made the the gun look distressed to match the kit this is somebody literally took a dremel or a wire wheel and just i mean look at that the whole way down the fucking side of the receiver and then like i said there i mean what in the hell is that Literally, somebody went crazy with the Dremel or something. Uh, and there you can see it. This is not Battlefield Pickup. This is trash finish, in my opinion. Some of this stuff's okay. Like, there, there. That's all right. You know, there. Um, but the, the finish on this gun is just trash. I'm sorry. There's no other way to put it. So, also... Another gripe is there's a crack in the pistol grip, which isn't a huge deal, but still, probably could have put a different one on there. Um, now, when I picked this, when I ordered this, I'm like, what's well, it set me? So, you know, I know the wells probably won't look the best or anything, but um, the wells don't look terrible. My, uh, my FFL has been a, a firearm shooter for a long time. He... He, uh, he's been a friend of mine for a long time as well, and he pointed some things out to me. Uh, apparently that hole, this one here, is supposed to line up, and you can see it's off really bad. Um, same with this one here. I mean, that's, I don't know exactly what that is. I, he just told me it's supposed to line up, and it doesn't. Um, he also told me that he thought the gap here, he also, so maybe it was here. One of these, either this one or this one, looked a little too long. I guess it was this one. It was the one where it meets the receiver. 
he just thought that was a pretty big gap to weld. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just, that's what he told me. But um, the other thing was when I got this to the range, I wanted to disassemble it, at least just pull the buttstock off and put some lubrication on the spring. Uh, this pin comes right out. No problem. Just like they're supposed to. And it stays in. I mean, it's not loose. This pin here will not come out. I beat this pin with a fucking magazine. And I was starting to get it out, but it still would not come out. And I was trying to grab it with pliers. You can see I kind of dicked it up a little bit. I was trying to grab this when I, once I got it out with the mag or the magazine. Once I got it fairly halfway out, I tried to grab it with a pair of small pliers. Wouldn't come out. Absolutely would not come out. So I beat it back in with a magazine and I just didn't put any lubrication on the recoil spring. So I guess I'm going to have to take a punch and a hammer to it to get it out. And then I don't know if I'm going to replace that pin or if it needs some material taken out. I don't know if something's wrong with this stock, this end piece here. I'm not sure, or the receiver. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, you could see how fucking hard I'm pushing on that. I mean, that's insane. Absolutely insane. That, that's like almost welded in there. It's not. It'll come out, but still. Um... I think the wood looks okay. I don't know if that's supposed to look like that or not. That looks a little weird to me. Uh, my Semi L just has a pin there and it's, it comes in and out easily. I thought this would have a pin there too, but it looks like it's there's a screw in there, which whatever. They didn't even bother to touch the barrel um, and make it, you know, battlefield pickup. They did nothing to the barrel, which is pretty messed up. It really didn't do a whole lot to the flash hider either. Flash hider is US made. Um, and then the other thing that I don't like about this gun, and it's gonna be impossible to show you on camera, I'm pretty sure. This gun is pretty, okay. It gets, really gets caught up there. Like, it gets really fucking hard. I mean, really hard to, to push up in and to lock it in. And then, once it is there, it, it kind of gets hung up. Um, now, I will say that I shot this gun. I shot 40 rounds out of this today. I will insert the footage at the end. And it did function. Uh, it functioned 100%. Well, 99%. I had five rounds loaded in a surplus mag, not this one. This is surplus, but not this mag. I had five rounds loaded in a mag, and I tried to do the HK slap, and all it did was just catch. It didn't actually go in. I had to pull it back. And let it go again, and then it went. And that was with five rounds in the magazine. Now that could have been just part of it breaking in. Could have been the magazine. Because the magazines, I just ordered a bunch of them and I haven't gotten a time to clean them. So they are caked and cosmoline still. So it could have had to do with that. But once I got it to go, it cycled the rest of the, the rounds fine. Um, I will say that at first the gun felt somewhat sluggish. Uh, I was using PMC bronze. But then I switched to... Oh, oh, Freedom Munitions, and uh, I didn't. It didn't feel sluggish anymore. So I'm assuming that's the PMC Bronze. I do. It does sound like there's some wearing going on in here when you're shooting. You can feel. It sounds kind of like sandpaper. I don't think the camera picked it up, but it it sounds a little off. Um, but I mean it's cycled, so I, I guess it is what it is. Um, but yeah, this is kind of upsetting because I was really excited to get this and I was like oh yeah I'll be one of the only ones to put a video out on this this is gonna be awesome and it's still cool it I mean it's not that it's not awesome it's just 
disappointing. I mean, this was $1,100. If I had to do this again, I probably would have just spent the extra 100 bucks and bought a PTR. Because uh, Atlantic Firearms actually has PTRs on sale right now. And I would have just got a PTR GIR and it would have had the rail on it. I do have an optics mount here. I already have it and I have an optic coming. Um, yeah. So, anyways, it's still a neat rifle. It just, honestly, this just reminds me of like the early century builds. Like, just crappy. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's tight. The wood's tight. It's not like it's, it's not, nothing's rattling. It just, it really just reminds me of an early century build. Um, and I'm not super thrilled with it. I'm not trying to beat them over. Like, I'm not trying to be super mean about it or anything, but I got to just be honest and I'm just being honest. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, I forgot about that. So these magazines, if you have the bolt locked open or closed, does not matter. Empty or loaded mag, you literally have to, you can't just insert, insert the mag. It will not, it will not go in there. You literally have to smack it on the back every single time. Again, if the bolt's open, doesn't matter. You still have to do that. It will not lock in unless you beat it. Now, maybe if you guys have set me's, if anyone else had a set me C, you can let me know. I had a C308 back in the day, and <laughs> the C308 was a lot nicer compared to this thing. Um, and I'm not just talking about the finish, uh, but I, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, I'm, I have 300 rounds we're going to put through this. I'm going to try to mess the finish up and, or try to do something with the finish. Uh, and you can see there that safety isn't in right. I mean, it's in. It just, maybe that's how they look. I don't know. But that looks a little weird to me. Uh, anyways, um, so let me get some time on this. Let me mess with the finish a little better. Let me see if I can't fix this pin here. See if I can't lubricate this a little better and see if I can get it less sticky, see if it breaks through. And we'll see what my, you know, three, 400 round impressions are. Hopefully it'll increase. I do like the gun. I mean, I love the wood looks good. I'm, ex I I'm glad I, I want to say, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I got it, but it's just one of those things when you get something, you know, expected one thing and you get another. I mean, look at that finish. That is just horrible on that trigger pack i don't even know if there's anything i'm going to be able to do with that but i mean besides refinish it and maybe that's why these were on sale for 1100 because when these first came out they were 1300 and then um they were lowered to 100 so maybe they messed the, the, the finish up and they decided to lower the price on them i'm not sure but anyways that's just a quick uh not really quick, but that's my initial impressions. I'm going to insert the uh, footage, shooting footage, and uh, have a good day. Let me know what you guys think, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much. I did want to put in that I did read the description before I bought this rifle, and at no point did it say anything about the price was lower because of somebody took a Dremel and completely screwed the finish up or anything like that um I, I did read the description and that none of that was in it it was just a, a sale price uh and also as you can see in the picture coming up the crack in the pistol grip easy enough replaced but still